so many of the things that I think are going to be important, I don't realize that they're really just fads. And one thing that I understand a lot about culture, or just, I guess, popular culture, is that there's a whole lot of fads. And a lot of things that aren't fads either that I don't follow because I, I guess, either misinterpret them or I just, I don't either want to get into or I don't know about it. And essentially, I I think I need to start recognizing that. Because I know I'm going to change and I know that there's these really big ideas going on. But I can realize that how thinking like that can really cripple you. It can really hold you back from really getting a grip of reality and true things. I mean, I talked about that today with a bunch of my friends. As chaotic as we were, someone brought that up and I think that's pretty true for a lot of people. But for me, I, I think it applies too. And now, and now I'm just doing it again. I'm stressing myself out. I'm getting not anxious, but uh, I don't know what this feeling is. It feels weird to be vulnerable and to talk about stuff, but it's healthy to do so. And sometimes it's just hard for me to jump into that conversation unless it's in the moment, which then makes me question, was the topic really that important? And a lot of times the answer is yes. It really is important for me to talk about my feelings and to truly open about, open up about what I think and what I think about people, objects, ideas. And sometimes just me reflecting thoughts and ideas that I've heard from other people as well as just general comments that I think are important. And that's the sharing of ideas. I pass one person's thoughts and keep passing them on. There's got to be another word I should be using. My vernacular is pretty limited in some areas. Um, and when it comes to concepts and bigger things, I often find it hard to relay that information. But a simple topic I can talk about, I guess, is my music. Um, I haven't uploaded anything to my channel recently. I haven't made too much music recently. I've talked about collabing with a few people. One is I talked to a label from Uruguay or Uruguay um, who really liked one of my albums and that was pretty cool even though they found it only because of the SoundCloud al algorithms. Um, it's really interesting to be recognized by legitimate companies and things like that or just people who make actually good stuff and while my music is good it's it's different there's a certain style that i have and i tried to pinpoint it exactly But my music is almost, I mean, a lot of it is very moving. It's supposed to be 
kind of emotional, I guess. Um, and whether that's a product of the instruments that I use or really the tools and the websites, or that's just a product of what I want to express. Um, I think there's only a few cases where the music that I've made has truly expressed what I felt in that moment. One of that is Haste Under 7C. That, that song, pretty well done. And obviously I could have changed things up and cut a few parts out and not had it loop. But I think the time in between it is important to the buildup and to having enough time for your brain to actually comprehend the themes and another one of the songs that I really feel like explained my mood was one that a lot of people liked. And it's called, oh my god, my hair. I'll talk about that later, okay? <laughs> I've, it's literally something that I've talked about in a bunch of videos. Um, anyways. So another one of my songs is Waiting for the Day to End. And I remember that one, I got a lot of comments from people saying that they liked it. I know one of my friends listened to it like seven times. And I mean, it, it didn't truly stick with me too much. Like I can play it in my head. And it's a good song, don't get me wrong. I'm just, I'm glad that other people found it to be um, important to them. And essentially that's kind of where my music stands. Um, although it not, might not be 100% good. Um, if someone can have a personal connection to a song and it can mean a lot to them, that's great. That's kind of why I, I guess, make music. Not really so much for other people, but just for the sake of just, just like music is interesting. And I want to not necessarily study it, but study and grow with what I've made. Because, I mean, I've established kind of not so much a brand, but this person named Towel, who doesn't actually exist. I mean, I am Towel, so I do exist. But all my other, like, names that I go by, it's just, it's weird because... When I start linking accounts, that starts linking me and getting someone to know, I guess, more about me when I have it split up in all these different accounts and different names. That all do lead back to me, but there's no one encompassing place where you can find me. I mean, this YouTube channel is a great snapshot into my life, my true life. But my music is another piece of that. And getting to know um, me on my music account, I guess, and just me sharing music, is that's another part. And just knowing me in real life and on or other places on the internet, I guess. It's interesting because I think only a few people really know all sides to it. And, and I mean, those people were actually really like me as a person, but. And sometimes they don't even know all of those and still like me as a person, I guess. Which kind of leads me into something else. Um, I'm guessing most people have stopped watching by now. But I mean, maybe Thomas or Tommy, wh whoever is watching. Maybe you've actually lasted this long. Um, or maybe that I got this wrong and someone else has lasted this long. But... Um, I was in church today, and my grandma wanted to talk to me, and one of the things that she said was, um, 
she's living because of me. She wants to see me grow. And I, that's not actually the first time I've heard it. Um, and while we're at it, you know, why don't we dive into it? Oh man, what has it been, three years? I mean, two years? Maybe even, t maybe only two, three years. Maybe only two, I, I can't, I can't remember. But eighth grade, Christmas time, I get to know somebody and we end up talking for a while. And at the end of our conversation, um, she mentioned that had we not talked, she probably would have jumped off her patio. But because we talked, it, it stopped her from doing that. Same thing kind of happened last year, continuing on into this year, actually. Um, if you recall, I kind of talked about my um, abusive girlfriend, but I don't really want to go into that. But she kind of had a different issue. Um, but, I mean, I meant a lot to her at that time. And, I mean, the, the playlist that I made was the only reason she was living. And that puts a tremendous amount of stress on a person. Because, one, I don't... <sighs> Oof. This can be very wrong. And I might even question my own philosophy and change it in this. Because now that I'm discussing it out loud... If you're living because someone else is living, maybe you should reconsider something. Um, because humans aren't perfect. Um, we change a lot depending on your stage that you're in in life. And... Uh, God, you can you can do nothing about it too if someone says that's like oh hey I just want you to know that um, only reason I'm living right now and I haven't killed myself or something like that is because you exist and I'm like <sighs> and, I, and I don't think that Maybe, it, I don't know if it's that I don't deserve it. I mean, I don't know, I just... I do kind of underplay myself. And... And sometimes I overplay it too. I just, I don't, <laughs> I don't know, I don't know, I do know, that's one of my bad habits, I don't open up about things, and I stop myself at the words I don't know, when I do very well know what I want to say, but I stop myself sometimes, because Either I think someone else won't understand it, or it's just become a bad habit of stopping myself. So I'm just gonna try talking. And I don't know if I brought it up before, but that's one of my issues. Oh, I have, I have. I just might have not released the video.
I don't... I don't know if you can equate me. I don't over... <sighs> Sometimes I don't like to um, talk about my impact that I have on people and sometimes I do sometimes I think it's really cool and I go into it but a lot of the time I, I, I just I get a little <laughs> I don't I'm a little I guess shy about it because I mean I, I mean I do a lot so <laughs> I'm going to have to meet a lot of people and that means I'm going to do a lot of stuff but I don't always talk about it Like I was talking to um, one person and just telling her about how I've gone through um, uh, an abusive relationship and she kind of was going through, sorry, I almost got him, almost did. I didn't want to clap loud because um, my parents are sleeping. That's mainly why I make these videos late at night because for one, oh my god. For one, I do not want to disturb them. And two, it's it's really not that late. Some of my videos have been very late though, around 11 o'clock. But right now, it's only 10.15. I'm probably gonna have a snack, go to bed, brush my teeth, do all that good stuff. I swear to god. I'm sorry, this fly is really annoying. But in, in, even in the earliest of my videos, I've, it's always been late. It's always been kind of a meme. Oh my gosh, I, I'm... I just gotta do it really hard. I just gotta do it really hard one time. Anyways. From the beginning of making this channel, most of my videos have been like super late. <laughs> it's kind of a common theme. Only a few of my videos are either recorded recorded early or actually in the day. Um, notably, those are my school videos um, that I upload, which are pretty funny. Water bottle drinking challenges, and uh, I've done a live stream at school, and I even had one time there was like a bomb threat, and I just showed around the school. That was it. Do we should do another I should do another school video. Because they're interesting. Sorry, I was just looking. There's like a light right there. Oh my god, I can't. There you go. There. And I'm just I'm just going between ideas, and I bet I'm not finishing the points that you guys actually want to hear about. And I'm sorry about that. I don't even know if I'm going to upload this video because I accidentally clicked stop on the beginning of this, which led into this. But maybe maybe that's okay. Maybe that's okay. We'll find out. Thanks for watching.